Many of you know Bahati, the popular Kenyan musician, and Iveto Bura, the mother of his daughter, Mweni Bahati. Despite their separation, Bahati and Yvette have maintained a co-parenting relationship that allows their daughter Mweni to experience the best of both worlds. Mweni lives with her mother Yvette during the week and on the weekends or school holidays, she spends time with her father Bahati and his wife Diana Marwa. This arrangement seems to work well for the most part, with both parents ensuring that Mweni is happy and well taken care of. Sometimes Bahati picks Mweni up from Yvette's place and other times Yvette drops her off at the Bahati's home. The two have managed to find a balance, making sure their daughter feels loved by both sides of her family. But what happens when co-parenting dynamics take an expected turn? Let's dive into a recent incident that left everyone involved in shock. It all started on what was supposed to be a pleasant evening. Bahati and Diana had organized a small dinner gathering at their home, inviting some of their close friends at a night of good food, laughter and conversation. As the guests began to arrive, Bahati made an expected move. He decided to invite Yvette to join them along with Mweni. Perhaps he thought it would be nice for everyone to come together as one big family. Yvette, wanting to keep things cordial, accepted the invitation and soon enough, she and Mweni arrived at the Bahati's residence. Diana, ever gracious host, welcomed Yvette and Mweni with open arms, ensuring they felt comfortable and at home. The atmosphere was warm with everyone enjoying the evening. But as the dinner progressed, the mood began to shift. During dinner, Bahati decided to bring up a topic that caught everyone off guard. Come, 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 come. I know that you guys have a lie to me. This will not be the first time. Come, come. Sit here, you have dinner with us. Come, sit here. Are you dinner? Are you dinner? In front of all the guests, he actually asked Yvette where she had been the previous day. Yvette, clearly taken aback by the question, she hesitated to answer. She didn't expect to be put on the spot like this, especially in front of their daughter and the guest. As the silence grew, it was little Mweni who innocently filled the gap. She revealed much to everyone's surprise that they had gone to see her uncle, who, as it turns out, is Yvette's boyfriend. You are in better. She was in? Feather. Not Kiam, not Kangundo Road. <laughs> okay, where were you? Who are you with? Mom. Mom and who? Okay, mom. Thank you. In your house. <laughs> ah, no. no. But you didn't talk about it. But you are the truth. Just tell us the truth. Mom, we need to talk about it. I'm going to tell us the truth. Ah, babe. Bahati, who had no idea that Yvette was seeing someone, was visibly shocked by this revelation. His attitude changed and what was meant to be a casual dinner quickly turned into a tension situation. Yvette was so embarrassed and decided to excuse herself. But before she could leave, Bahati shouted at her, telling her she would have to pay for her own cab and that he wouldn't give her any money. The room fell silent with Diana trying to intervene and calm Bahati down. Instead of listening to his wife, Bahati snapped at her rudely telling her to keep quiet. Diana, clearly hurt and embarrassed in front of their friends, chose to remain silent. The situation only escalated as Bahati, feeling the tension in the room, turned to Diana and questioned her. He accused her of being silent when it came to her own past relationships, implying that no one ever questioned her about her boyfriends. The guests who had initially come for a pleasant evening were now left in shock unsure of how to react to the drama unfolding before them. What was meant to be a simple family dinner had turned into a night of embarrassment and shame. Yvette left, clearly upset, and the rest of the evening was a mix of awkward silence and whispers. The guests couldn't believe what they had just witnessed. Bahati, usually calm and composed, had lost his cool in front of everyone, revealing a side of himself that many had never seen before. Thank you for watching. I've been your host Becky Masai. Subscribe and see you on the next video.